All right, welcome, welcome. Cut that off. We are, let me fix my camera here. We are uh, over halfway through this first season in Utah. If you weren't here last episode, we uh, did the MLB draft and did the uh, trade deadline. Didn't have any, any uh, home run derby. We always skip the all-star game anyway. So, um Got a few transactions in here. Let me look. We go back here. Da, 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 da. On the 11th of June, we traded Zach Jackson to the Reds for Alexis Diaz, and then we uh, signed him to a two-year extension. We traded Ryan Noda on uh, at the trade deadline to the Dodgers for a young second baseman named Tom Hanna, and most especially young left-handed catcher named Dalton Rushing. So that's our catcher of the future. We also acquired Drew Rasmussen and first baseman Bob Lopez from the Rays for uh, reliever Sean Spann, second baseman Jordan Diaz, and starting pitcher J.P. Sears. So that gives us another veteran bullpen arm. Uh, and uh, that's about it on the... Uh, and then we did extend Rasmussen to a two-year $9.51 million deal. So... Gives us a uh, another top end arm out of the bullpen. He actually used to start just like Mason Miller used to start. Um, so Diaz Rasmussen greatly improves our bullpen, and uh, we're just going to go with this staff right here: Estes, Spence, Garcia, Freed, and Burns. See Burns nine and nine, Freed's eight and seven. While the win loss isn't there, um, pretty happy with that. What they've done. We got Garcia last year. He's done real well. Spence is doing well. Estes got called back up from the minors. Uh, when JT Ginn, I believe it was, was it Ginn? No, it might have been JP Sears, who we just shipped out, um, got injured, and then we brought Joey up, and he pitched really well. So let him finish out the season. We've got some uh, okay prospects down here. Nothing great yet. Um, maybe we'll get one in next year's draft. We do have some guys coming in. Um, you know, look at our draft picks. This Dante Hinkle looks really good. Throws five pitches. Um, tops out at 95, but that's why he, he's got a really good mix. And he's 18 years old, so we'll give him time to develop. We got a nice reliever, Troy Hobbs, who we're going to rename Roy Hobbs. Um, nice bullpen piece moving forward. Um, so if we ever get to the point where we want to trade Mason Miller off to get something for him or maybe move him back to the rotation. We have another possibility that can step in and backside. He'll spend all of next year in the minor, so that'll be a good way for him to uh, get better. Um, Alexis Rodriguez is another good control. Um, his control number doesn't show up, but the walks per nine does. So we need to get that hits, hits per nine up, but he's 18. Got another one. This guy's going to have more strikeouts. Um, so we got some good young starting pitchers. This guy's 22. Not sure how well he's going to do with that 13 pitching clutch. He might be a trade piece. Pedro Reyes, good good hits and walks per nine. His stamina is a little low, so he may end up being shipped over to the bullpen, especially with a decent clutch. And we took a flyer in this guy in the last round. He's just organizational depth. Looks like he's going to be a good piece right now, but he's only got 64 potential, right? Yeah, so he's not a long-term solution. But that's... We do have some young pitchers coming into the organization next year. So we are sitting currently second place, six games behind the Rangers, but we have the number one wild card in the American League. See, we're scoring a ton of runs, but we're also giving up a ton of runs. So it's just the nature of the ballpark that we're playing in. Contract extensions, we already took care of the two I was most interested. Um, Senzel is not, we don't have to bring him back. and He's not going to get a ton of ABs, and he won't cost that much if we want to bring him back in the offseason. Yarber, we're not going to bring him back. Rushing, he's renewable. And Underwood, probably uh, not bringing him back either, even though he's had a decent season. So, anyway, no sense to uh, mess with them right now. So, let's get in here. We, uh, we only have two, three games this whole month. At the very end of the month against the Astros that are in division. So 
Um, probably only going to play two full games. I'd like to get this month over as quick as I can. So we'll play two games um, and do some player locks. Definitely going to play a game at Colorado, which means I probably won't do one of these games at Houston. We'll just do a player lock in there. But we're going to play a full game in Colorado and <laughs> probably play a home game um, against Miami. Let's play some of these shit teams and pound on them. Have fun in these two games. So... Sean Manaya will just straight sim. I don't need to player lock who they got there. Kodai Singa. Eh. Maybe we'll go ahead and do a player lock here with Manaya, against Manaya. My uh, earbuds were uh, completely discharged. So I went to uh, plug him in, and uh, so I can't hear myself talk. So it's just the way it is. What's up, tight spot? Dude, I am so pissed. I'm so glad I did not need any points from Nico Collins to win my uh, fantasy football game this week because he went 77 yards to the house in the first play of the game. I got called back on uh, legal man downfield, which cost me um, almost 15 points. <laughs> almost 15, no, almost 16 points on one play. So glad I did not need that. All right, player lock. We got a left-handed pitcher, so let us try. Don't want SD. Let's 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 let's. Who do we want? Who do we want? Let's just go Rooker and get it out of the way. Two and eight, dude. I've scored the most points and given up the second or second most. I've scored the second most or scored the first most, and I've given up the most points. So I'm I'm gonna be six and five after this week. And I've got Gibbs and A-Chan. I've got Kittle. I've got uh, A.J. Brown, Nico Collins, um, T. Higgins, Jalen Waddell. Um, it's, it's just ridiculous. Every time I play someone, they have their best week. And then there's a dude in first place who, whenever he plays someone, they score their least amount of points. It's just... I just need to get in the playoffs because once we get in the playoffs, that dude's getting his ass kicked. <laughs> He's not going to be playing any of these weak sister teams that don't score any points in the playoffs. We had a team put up 190 points this week. So he had uh, he had Goff and Monter St. Brown and one other big dude. I, don't, I, think, I don't know if it was Chase or not. He had, he had an ungodly amount of points. So All right, Butler with a home run. We're down three to one. And I just keep smoking balls on the infield. Gotta get the ball in the air. So now we're down five to one. Great. I am working on a new custom stadium for Tampa Bay. I'm going to try to model it somewhat off of what they're planning on building, but it's not going to be exact. Um, and I, at the point I'm at right now, I might have to just scrap what I've been doing with the roof and do something different, but I'm going to try to make a new dome stadium. And is that going to get out of here? Is that good enough? Yeah, it is. It's gone. Boom. Into the batting cage. There we go. Just got enough of that. Felt like it was just a pop-up. Yeah, it is. I guess still got to fix his shoes. I got to give him dark blue shoes. I don't like those bright blue. And they cut her up, and you just kind of got enough of it. Ah, again, swing at the first pitch. Being impatient, game over. Burns five earned in five innings. Yeah, turn space heater on because my feet are cold. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Do a fast sim there, and we win that one four to three. Kelnick with a home run. Garcia pitched well. Mason blew the save, but Castro got the win. 
Um, let's go down to double A right here. And get some player lock in with... Uh, let's go with Nick Kurtz. We've been doing a lot of Logan Fiori. And uh, Kurtz was injured, so I want to get Kurtz back up to speed. I uh, I did go through the salary file. I or salary, I'm thinking fantasy baseball. The the uh, roster file that I'm using for this uh, Avengers season is a, the last live roster that they put out um, back in October. Um, I took that one and I updated some players, especially the minor league players, and then earlier or late last week I went through and I updated all of the uh, top 100 prospects to make sure they were all at least a B and um, guys in the top 50 almost all those guys are now a potential and uh, I want to make sure that uh, we have enough guys in the minor leagues that are going to progress up high enough to replace the starters that are aging I also went through some of the prospects in this particular franchise um, on everybody else's teams. Um, and if they had like an A potential that was a 45 or a 52 or something like that, um, I gave them, I didn't boost their hitting a ton, um, but I did boost their defense. If they were like in the 20s and 30s defensively, at least put them in the 40s, mid 40s. Um, if they had bad durability, I'd push it up to like 70. Um, but I didn't push their overalls to like high sixties. I, I made sure they were like in the high fifties and, uh, especially if they're 18 and that way some of those players might develop as we're doing this franchise because hitters, especially hitters are the hardest to, uh, to find. They don't give you enough usable hitters in the draft. Um, I wish they would fix that. That's a shot. Is that going to be out of here? That might be. And, oh, he tracked it down. Such a deep outfield. He hit the hell out of that ball. So, um, so I kind of backfilled some of the uh, prospects. And um, next year when the game comes out, I will not do a franchise until they release the first roster during the season. So that rookie... Suzaki comes over from uh, Japan. Um, he's in there. Um, all the rookies that aren't in the uh, MLB Players Association until they actually play their first game. We kind of went through that this past year with Yamamoto. Um, I want to make sure all those guys are in the salary file, and then I'll start mine. What's up, Batten? How you doing, man? Welcome in. You haven't missed much. We've just been doing player lock. Um. Let's see, Fiori was one for four. Kurtz was one for five. Okay. Um, so I'm trying to improve some of these prospect players and, and get them so that they uh, they can be usable, the hitters especially. Um, and then what I'll do is I will make one that takes the top 100 players next spring and updates those guys. I will look at their, their spring training stats and everything. Not spring training, but their minor league stats and push them up to make sure that they are going to be starting out at least in the high 60s if they're, uh, um, especially if they're in AAA. They need to be in the low 70s. But I'm going to push them up and get them so that we can get to those players um, sooner, get them used, get them on rosters. Um, and then I will put that out in the vault. So if you guys want to uh, use that next year, um, you can be my guest. All right, let's send this day, and we win five to four. Rooker with another home run. Spence, okay, bullpen did better. Miller gets his 30th save. McClanahan on the Indians. Man, I wish, I want him so bad. We'll just sim this game, and we lose five to four. They hit four home runs. <laughs> but uh, Senzel hit a three-run homer in the bottom of the ninth to tie the game. All right, that's that's one way to come back. Class A. Three-run blast off Class A. Uh, no, but I can. I did edit um, 
And when we get done playing games, I can I can show you what I did. Um, it's really easy to see. Um, but they uh, they really do not. And I used the, the the last salary file that actually had the draft picks. So like Nick Kurtz is in there, um, Chase Burns is in there, Bazana, Charlie Condon, all those guys are in the file. So they're all going to be um, usable. Um, right away you'll be able to uh, you know, yeah because it's 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 um here let me save this let, let me do this real quick let's do this i'm just going to show you right now while i'm talking about it no sense waiting all right let's exit out of here and we'll go to load saved rosters it's this one and i'll, I'll rename it and then if you go under edit player, now you can go look at it. So like on the Cardinals, they have JJ Weatherholt as a shortstop. He's not playing shortstop. He's either going to play second base or, and they'll move Gorman to third or whatever, but Weatherholt, his hitting stats were not high enough and they had him listed as a shortstop. This might be what he played in um, college, but he's not going to play at the majors and he was only a B potential. I'm like, yeah, no, we, we've got to have these guys. If they're top 100, they need to be A potential. Um, anybody else here? No. Nope. They didn't mess with the uh, pro players a ton. Um, Quinn Matthews, I did make him an A. That dude had over 200 strikeouts in the minor leagues this year. Um, so, yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's an absolute stud. Um, let me see. There's somebody in particular you uh are interested in just throw their name in chat and i can go through and show you um charlie condon they got him he's gonna play i think outfield he's not gonna play third base but he's he is listed at first third in all three outfield um i did make him an a potential and i did have to boost his stats i didn't go hog wild because he really didn't do great in the minors when he after he left college so he might need um a little more time Probably could boost his power a little more. Um, Yankees. I can go to the Yankees. Um, I did make Dominguez an A because he was not. He had some injuries last year. He had been in the majors all year this year. Um, and he probably could go higher than that. But his discipline and his speed are, are boosting his number right now. So... Um, I didn't mess with rice. Gave, gave Luis an A, and he's rookie of the year. He just got voted rookie of the year, so I bumped him up. Um, Beater's a B, but he might have been a B. Chase Hampton was a C, and I pushed him up. Beater, I pushed him up. I think Warren got pushed up. Some of these got pushed up on their own. Um, I still have them here. Some of these guys are not on the right. Here we go. Marcelo Mayer got pushed him up. Um, I moved Raphael to short. Um, Vaughn Grissom to second base. Yeah. Roman Anthony pushed him up as well. He's the number one prospect in baseball. Um, made sure Carson Williams went up. He's really good defensively. He just won a gold glove in minor leagues. Um, got him pushed up. Uh, Cameron Arrow, I left alone. Xavier Isaac, I made an A. And uh, inflated his power just a little bit. Hey, look, I got Kenny Piper in the game. <laughs> the awards, they just announced Rookie of the Year today. So I don't know if they announced anything else. Else here? They're missing uh, one of the top pitchers for the White Sox. 
can't remember what his name is, but they're, one of their young pitchers is not in here. Um, I did make Hagen Smith an A, and I did boost his numbers. Um, I did make Colson Montgomery an A. I think the latter made him a B. Chirio, I boosted him and made him a B. Here's Bazana. His fielding is not great, but he can play all over the place too. And he's only 21 at 73. So moved uh, John Kenzie to first. I mean, he's a DH guy anyway. Manzaro's probably going to get traded. They did this with Cade Smith. So, yeah. Uh, some of these guys, let me see. Move McGonagall to sh McGonagall to short. Rainier pushed him up as well. Uh, Max Clark, I boosted him. Uh, let's see. Did I boost their pitchers? Got him a B. Zebby's a B. Yeah, moved, gave this guy a B, boosted him a little bit. And Brooksley, he's just no room to play there. Uh, boosted up Emmanuel Rodriguez, especially his potential. Walker Jenkins boosted him as well. So I went through and, and uh, edited all those guys. Top 100, if you just go to MLB or Google MLB top 100 prospects, you'll see a list from MLB.com. And I used that list and I went through and made sure all those guys, especially top 50, most of the top 50 are going to be uh, A's and then the rest will be B's. So anyway, all right. So we're going to play a full game against Miami, a full game against Colorado. So let's start this game with Garcia against Ryan Weathers. So we'll sim this game against Alcantara. And we lose 7-6 to six. right now. We are eight games back. Still number one in the wild card. Look at our stats. Rooker's got 28 home runs. Adamas, 24. Yeah, Dodgers don't need Sazaki or Soto. Fuck the Dodgers. They've, they've got enough. We need a salary cap. Fuck those guys. All right, let's get in here and play this game. I don't have earbuds in because my they're they're dead. They're recharging. They're at six percent right now, <laughs> so I can't hear I can't hear myself at all. All right, let's play this game, and let's have them wear. That alternate. Gray pants. They got gray pants. There we go. And like I said on Discord, if uh, Soto happens to sign with the Giants, I was planning on doing the Giants as my franchise next year in the spring. But if they get Soto, I'm not going to do it. Um, I'll do the White Sox instead. Hey, uh, Batten, check this out. I've been... Uh, messing with new ballparks that was the one in florida that i was messing with and this one is the start of uh one i'm gonna make that's gonna try to resemble what the the new tampa one is um so i kind of left some pieces in place took everything out and i'm i'm going from there but too far there we go garcia sd you know what 
play Adamus regardless. And we'll sub out Langoliers because he's not playing well. Put you there. And you. Let's put Nevin up there. I'll just bet you nine. All right, here we go. So they have Jackson Holiday on Florida. I'm not sure what they traded to get him. And they have Cole Young. <clears throat> All right, Luis. Let's see if we can uh, have a good game today. And if this is your first time in, yep, this is a custom park I made. Damn it. It's frozen? Hold on. Let's see. There we go. Sorry about that. Not sure why he does that. So he probably didn't see any of the stuff I was showing you. <laughs> That's okay. It happens every once in a while. It hasn't happened for a while. I don't know what happens because I didn't touch the... Uh, I have my capture card sitting on the floor over here. So if I happen to bump it with my foot or something like that, then it loses connection in uh, Streamlabs. But I didn't touch it that time, so I'm not sure what happened there. Let's throw this curveball and try and get him out. That's foul. Yeah, we get done playing because I'm gonna Colorado is gonna be I'm only gonna play two full games tonight. So we're gonna play this game. We're gonna play one at Colorado so I can go bat in that old park that we had for the Rockies franchise. And uh we'll be doing a lot of other player locks. So when we get done, I'll go out to the uh stadium creator and show you what I'm doing with these two ballparks. The uh the <clears throat> dome one or retractable roof one or whatever that I'm um, going to work on over the next several days, weeks. Um, I'm not in a hurry to get it done. I'm not going to be playing in Tampa anytime soon. I have some other downloaded parks that I could play with, so this is more aimed for next year. There you go, Rosario. That's a deep, deep part of the outfield. A little more speed. That's a triple. I'm actually doing a uh, draft-only franchise right now. Fiend Franchise is the one that has been doing uh, draft-only franchises for the last two years, so I'm trying one with the Marlins. Where you uh, sim the first year. At the end of the year, you cut everybody on the 40-man roster and then build your team off the rest of them. And then you just draft guys, and then you build your new Major League roster after the first season's over by... Picking 26 guys from the Rule 5 draft. Um, and then uh, from there, you're just drafting and developing. You can only make very, very limited trades. Um, and then uh, and you have to trade for guys not on a 40-man roster. Ooh. So it's fun. I have... Uh, Drafted two guys early in the first round that are absolute studs, and one of them's already in the majors at 18 years old. They're my second base and shortstop. The Marlins already have some decent prospects at first and third, and uh, I traded for uh, Walker Jenkins. He was the big trade. I shipped them uh, Yuri Perez and something else for Jenkins. 
I can cut everybody else. Ah, tardy. I know you don't like batting against lefties, but Langoliers was struggling. This ballpark I built in stages, so it's funny when you make a park, you make it and you think you're done, and then you look at something else or you play with it and you realize, oh, no, I need to make a change. I need to change this. I need to change that. They don't give you the best tools to work with on that stadium creator either. There we go. Butler. There we go. Scoop that line drive. Ooh, just missed. Well, that's not good. <sighs> Warm me down with all the damn foul balls. It's okay. Don't mind the walk. Sets up a force play. All right. Hitting the walk. No damage. Party. I didn't get my camera set exactly how I wanted before I went live, so I'll be fighting it. Terrible pitch to swing at. Fucking Nico Collins catches a 77-yard little dump pass, goes to the house, and now he hasn't caught a pass the rest of the game. <laughs> Got called back on a penalty. All right, we need to take some pitches, man. We're two innings in, and he probably doesn't even have 20 pitches.
a curveball after this. Man. Fallon balls off like crazy. Can't put them away. They won't put it in play. End up walking them. That's two walks. They never walk this many guys. When's the last time you guys saw me walk two guys in one game? <laughs> like never, right? I never walk players. Come on, swing a fucking bat. There we go. <laughs> That was a bomb. That was to the back of the seats. How far was that? 501, our first 500 foot home run. At least in a while. Didn't even it wasn't even perfect perfect and it went 501. Boom. I don't know if I got that. Damn it. Stop. There we go. Trying to get a thumbnail, sorry. All right. Uh oh, that's over his head, too. Off the wall. There we go. Does not hit righties that well. That was good. All right, Ahmed. You went deep over here to the gap first time up. Kind of moves the runner up. Put him on third with less than two out. Now we can see if Nevin can drive him in. Got to be patient here. He's only throwing 21 pitches. We're in the third inning with one out already. There we go. That's going to be an extra base hit, too. Deepest part of the park, man. If you had speed at all, that's a triple. Ah. 
Ah, be patient. Wait. Wait. All right, well, we got two home run and a double. All right, let's see if we can strike. There we go. Where is everybody else chasing that garbage earlier, man? Foul ball. Ah, couldn't get there. Oh, we got him. <laughs> All right. We got the home run bat going tonight. I see. Nevin and Senzel have uh, great splits. They crush left-handed pitching. So that's the reason why I got those guys to make sure we had some uh, good platoon guys to use against lefties since we don't have a ton of money to go out and buy guys that are great against both sides. That's foul. Too much. First pitch swinging. Jeez Louise. All right, Joe. We went deep to left last time.
And here comes the foul ball parade. <laughs> there we go. Sit down. Only my second strikeout because I keep fouling everything off. And then I end up missing the zone and walking them. Backdoor curveball. Thank you very much. Damn, almost hit that out. It didn't hit the ball very hard. Get out of play. Of course not. Couldn't get that out in front quick enough. Just got a piece. Stay alive. Too much in the middle of the plate. I was supposed to be up and in. It was down the middle. Lucky I stayed in the park. Way too long to flip that ball. Yeah, that was not in a good spot. Be nice if they would put the ball in play on the first pitch once in a while.
How is that not a swing? All right, he's done. Almost 100 pitches to get through six. That's not good. That's a rope. That's a double. No! Holy shit, it snuck over. Wow. I thought that was going to be a double for sure. That's why I made the wall so high, so high out there. Well, he's got 29 bombs now in middle August, so that's good. Did not expect that to get out at all. Check my fantasy football here. Hey, Nico finally has three catches. I'm not sure why that's not updating either. Oh, ate him up. Don't see those bad hops on the CPU very often. Oh, and it's going to be one of those games. <laughs> okay. We're just going to hit home run after home run after home run. Max Meyer in a bullpen. Nah, totally impatient. We're just hacking away. Well, they scored three, and we bounced back with four, so that's how you're supposed to respond, right? Get down. Nope, he's got it. All right, Willie, now you got right-handed pitching in here. That'll give you a boost. I've got to learn to take pitches. Terrible at bat.
Worst MLB player. Hey, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. We are having a slug fest against the Marlins today. So hope you like lots of extra base hits. Totally missed my spot. Totally missed it. See if he gets his cutter down in a way. So many first pitch swings. All right. Let's be more patient here. Right down the middle. Hey. What do you know? It's like our boy Peter Finch down in AAA has been doing pretty good. He might be the next call up. I don't know. Not sure if his ratings are actually ready to be uh, playing at this level. What a pitch. All right, off the eighth. off his shoe tops. Let's try his cutter on the outside. All right, he's done. Did his job. Got down all those lefties plus burger. <laughs> oh, McCann's going to get his second double of the game. Bad route to that ball. Jesus. We out in front. We, we out in front. Come on.
Now I'll give him a third. Yeah, we'll send it. Make him make the throw. And he got him. Great play by the catcher. All right. Who's coming? Let's bring in Rasmussen. Easy to pitch out. Thank you very much. Another two pitch out. There we go. Five pitches, three outs. Gotta love that after the uh, couple of innings where we had 20 plus pitches earlier in the game. How many home runs did we hit? One, two, three, four home runs, four doubles. Five doubles. Garcia made one bad pitch to uh, Jackson Holiday. Otherwise, he had had a near flawless game. Bullpen. Three perfect dangs with four strikeouts. So, yeah, that'll work. All right. And then we lose three to one, Braxton Garrett. All right, let's go. Well, first, let's save. Let's go to double A. Play a lock with Logan Fiore again. Since this is our top prospect outside of Kurtz, those two guys, he's actually higher overall, but I think Kurtz has a higher ceiling. Early. Too early. Man. Impatient. Jeez. Down for nothing. All right. Let's see if we can get this back in the game here. Swung right over that. Goodness. All right. Cripple pitch here. Three and one count. He's got to come down the middle. See if we can drive the shit out of this. Nope. Got on top of it. No, nope, that was non-productive. Hmm. 
was not good. And we lose to Cleveland. And we lose to Cleveland. What the fuck? Pitching's doing great. Hitting's not. Spence did well. Castro blew that one. Give up two home runs. Freed pitched well. Bullpen pitched well. We just couldn't score. Mason Miller, another blown save. Mother. Dude. Clanahan get hurt? No. All right. That's player lock against Tanner Bybee. Try to uh, stop this skid. We'll go with... Um, Let's go with Soderstrom our first time. All right, Rooker with a two-run shot. I should give him 30. Way out in front of that one. All right, full count. Let's go. Runners off with the pitch. At least they should be. Ah. I don't think he got enough of that. I think he's going to get caught at the warning track. <laughs> Not only was it at the warning track, it was over the wall. He brought it back. Shit. All right, 4-4 four, four game. Pete Crow with a home run. Somebody else hit a home run. We got three home runs this game already. Might have another one. Yes, we do. That's why we were able to trade Noda. Might have to make Soderstrom our everyday first baseman. Warm me down.
That was nasty. Get through. There we go. It's another ribby. Come on, Shay. You're over. You're due. Let's go. Nope. All right. Four run lead. Hey. Looks like a door. His eyes look cross-eyed. <laughs> Get off the picture. All right, so one, two, three, four home runs in that game. Rooker did hit his 30th. He has 68 RBIs with 30 home runs, though. That tells you. Not getting enough guys on base. A lot of solo shots. So let me do something here. Go look at our stats real quick. So 20 for Butler, 24 for Adamas. Mayo has 13. Kelnick has 13. Pitching wise, not bad. And Rasmussen and Sandlin are a bit high. If he could quit blowing saves, that would be great. 51 strikeouts in 37 innings, though. Take that. And we're seven games out. Yankees have tied us. Actually, they're ahead of us for the wild card. Twins and Astros, so we got to get our shit together. Otherwise, we could back ourselves right out of the playoffs. We have not been uh, beating up on some of these other teams. Pete Crow out a few days, right? We win 4-3. to three. No home runs. Garcia pitched great again. Miller gets a save. Win 11-3. to three. Rooker, Mayo, Soderstrom, and two for Langoliers. Pass this pitch pretty well. All right. And Woodruff, let's uh, player lock in here. And da -da. let's do Butler. Yeah, Blaze Alexander up. Yeah. 
You have Kepler? Yeah, I didn't notice that. This is one of the best backdrops to hit off of, as long as the sun isn't streaking across that, shining it right on the backdrop. As it sits right now, it's great. But later in the day, when the sun changes and the sun hits the scoreboard, it's like playing in Minnesota. You can't see shit. When the uh, roof is closed, though, it's perfect. Just a lazy fly ball. There you go. Kepler with a two-run shot. No. Thank you. The base is loaded and one out. We need to at least get a fly ball. Man, I want it to be deeper than that. I don't know if it's going to score them or not. They're going to try it. Here comes the throw. Not in time. All right. Got on the board at least. And they go nuts and it's 8 to 1 now. 8 to 2. 8 to 3. Two ribs for Butler. That'll that'll do. All right, Rooker. Take him deep, make it 8-5. I'm sorry, 8-6. And move him up to third. He's going to take a hit, though. Let's go. Come on, Willie. <laughs> 11 to 3. God damn. Now it's going to be a little more difficult to hit. Not as bad as other times that I've seen, though. Back in MLB 23, it was damn near impossible to hit. I would just make it overcast in Milwaukee every single time. Butler's driven in two of the three runs. I'm not sure what everybody else has done. I mean, makes a fucking gold glove play. Defense for CPU strikes again. Who fucking pitched that game? Ugh. That was that was an ugly game. Yelich with two home runs. All right, off to Colorado. So we already pitched with him. So we're either going to pitch with Max Fried or Corbin Burns. So you tell me who you want me to pitch, the lefty or the righty. And then we'll do some more player locks as we go. While you're deciding, Double A doesn't have any. Yeah, do we have any anybody in Triple A that's worth looking at? Hold on. Not really. All right. Mm, we've pitched with both these guys. Feltner's a lefty, right? Let's do Max. They're going to wear City Connect. All right. Pete Crow dinged up. So, all right. We don't want Sinzel in center field. I played Joe Adele in center field. All right. 
Dude, Nolan Jones leading off. At least he got rid of those god awful green pants. First pitch swinging again because I can't help myself. We are taking this pitch. Wish I had played more seasons with the Rockies than I did. All right, take the walk. There we go. Almost looks like a blooper pitch. <laughs> Joey Bart, six RBIs versus the Rockies. Holy crap. Oh, I'm not going to get there. Just let it go. There we go. Nowhere near where I wanted that pitch. It's fucking right down the middle. Tell you, pitching even on Legend is way more difficult this year than it has been in the past. I don't know why. Two strikeouts, but a 400 plus foot home run to a lefty. Almost killed my third base coach. Just poured 
approach at the plate. I'm swinging at garbage. There we go. That'll be a double. Went down and just laced that into left center field. Yeah, I'll get him home. Hundred and eighteen mile an hour line drive with three percent angle. Jesus. You hit that and somebody to somebody to take his glove right off. That's going to get down and score two. There we go. 3-1 lead. Langliers finds a patch of grass. All right, Ahmed, let's keep the merry-go-round going. It's a weird swing. Look how long that ball stayed in the air. Killing them with the foul balls. They do it to us all the time. Oh, he boots it. It's going to get us on base. All right, Lawrence, let's go. Upper tank. Nope. Hit it hard. Might get down. It's not going to be a home run, though. Ground rule double cost us a run. All right, Brent. Son of a bitch. Cost me an RBI.
Got him. Warm me down. Dead center field for that bad boy. Where was that? 502. That's two 500 foot home runs in this stream. Gotta love that. Look at it. There are four teams in the National League wildcard that are tied and won a fifth team as a half game back. Wow. Their wildcard race is out of control. Flinched. Damn change ups. This is how quiet the crowd is. He drills me. All right, Tyler. Got a hit last time. No. The fuck was that? Yeah, it'll move him up. Thank you. The kind of game, this is why I wanted to play in this park. This is the kind of game where we need to get our batters and get them hot so that they play better in the sim.
Ah, swung too early. Way out in front. Swung over the top. He's a can of corn. You watch Fiend franchises, uh, Rockies draft only franchise. You know, this Sterling Thompson right here, he was his third baseman for most of it. God damn the foul balls. I have the slider set down to, to have less foul balls. Imagine if I hadn't touched it. I mean, is that seven already? This guy's hit the two hardest balls for Colorado all green. And he does not hit well against lefties, so I don't know what the deal is with that. Yeah, it's just a high fly ball. It's not going out. Peyton Battenfield. Never heard of him. So we swing at the first pitch, of course. Fastball, curveball, changeup, cutter. This guy has to be a computer player. Almost took his head off. Is that good enough? Looks like it does. Off the wall, it's going to get a run in. There we go. Actually drives in a run without a home run. It's on pace to hit over 40 home runs and over 40 doubles and drive in less than 100 runs. I don't know how you do that.
All right, Jared. Ah. All right, tack on runs. Gotta keep scoring tack on runs. Pretty much dominated everybody but McMahon. Isn't that funny? Thomas is a fucking statue at shortstop. Couldn't take one step. I dove and he still couldn't get the ball. Powdered. <laughs> Eight Ks. All right. Shut that shit down again. All right, Kobe. There we go. Drilled you with a pitch last time, and you take him deep to Wyoming. Gone. This pitcher's thrown two meatballs, and we've hit the shit out of both of them. He might get to 20 home runs as well. Bam. Barreled that shit right up. All right. Come on, Tyler. New everyday first baseman. <laughs> and that is why. <laughs> Imagine if I had some real sluggers on this team. Jesus. How high was that? Is that second deck or third deck? Yeah, it's looking like second deck. No. All right, Zach Penrod. Yeah, Soderstrom's going to be... I was going to use the one with Joe Adele. I thought I already have a picture of Max Freed that I thought about using, but I'm going to use Soderstrom and... Have the title be uh, Soderstrom takes over first. His average isn't too hot right now, but that's okay. It'll get better. Next year, when Kurtz and Yori are in AAA. We'll get to see Las Vegas. We'll get to see them play in AAA. And down in AA, we'll go down and do player lock with uh, one or two of those starting pitchers. Definitely our number one pick. Forgot how many strikes I had. That's fair. Just inside the bag. Of 
Rosario is still hitting like 240 next year. And Fiori's tearing it up in AAA. I'll bring his ass up. And I won't wait until like the All-Star break. If we're at the end of April or middle of May and Rosario's not doing it, we'll uh, <clears throat> we'll let Fiori come up and play second base every day. Going to need to find a leadoff hitter, though. Oh, a little flip. We're just killing him with a thousand cuts. It's 11 to 1 in the fifth inning. We're not hitting it in the uh, nether reaches of the park. We're flipping it over the shortstop. Come on, Brent. I need to get you some ribs. Ah, cutter. Almost worked like a changeup. When we get done, I'll show you the uh, two guys I drafted for the Marlins in that uh, draft-only franchise I'm doing off-camera. Back-to-back. One was like the fifth pick of the draft, and the other one was a first overall. They both <clears throat> started as rookies. The same season. One was drafted the year before. Let him play in the minors a little bit. And then the other one went straight to the majors. And the uh, older of the two won the rookie of the year. They both had over 20 home runs, though. There's another hit. I'm going to send him home, too. It's 12 to 1. Austin Gomber. Colorado got him in that stupid Arenado trade. And no, I'm not tired of running up the score because um, I want to get their, uh, get some of these guys on fire so that they do better in the sim because they're struggling a little bit in the sim right now. All right, Kobe. Let's see if we can hit one to Utah this time. Pull it to left. One home. We're going to send the other guy too. There we go. Let's see if we can put up 20 on these bad boys. Soderstrom's three for three, and we're in the fifth inning. And this is his second time up this inning. Oh, we got it. All right, we doubled our run total in one inning. See if he likes this changeup. Oh, way to chase that. He looks terrible on I, the first one. I throw it again, and he just acts like fucking Rod Carew. Unreal. Terrible throw, Joe. What the hell was that?
I'm pitching around them. He's already hit a home run and a double off me, so I don't want to intentionally walk him, but I certainly didn't want to give him anything good. Only gave up one. He's probably gonna go one more inning. Ah, way out in front. Come on, man. See the pitch. See the pitch. Saw it that time. But I was way out in front. Oh, just under it. Hey, Nico's up to 9.4 points. Sugar Shea, let's go, man. There we go. Langoliers is going to score. He's fast for a catcher. 15 to 2. Five more. This is like playing against the CPU in Diamond Dynasty. Butler's 3 for 3. All right. Can't remember the last time I had a five hit game on camera. I'm not having it tonight. All right, Brent, can you take one deep? Hit it off the scoreboard. Nope, that's a line drive right to center field. All right. Shannon was out of completely out of the strike zone, man. It was in the other batter's box. My God, what the hell are you swinging at, dude? That's what happens when you put it right down the pipe. Let's get him through six. God damn this guy. That's twice he's done that. Thank you. 
All right, fuck this. We're getting Coors Field now. If he hits another home run, I'm going to blast him in the fucking head his next time up. What's up, Cavacom? Welcome in, man. How you doing? We uh, can't stop hitting home runs at Coors, but now we can't get anybody out. <laughs> There we go. Finally. Finally. Now we know what they feel like after we put up seven runs that one inning on them. So I guess I can't complain too much, right? Man, that was a long foul ball. Oh. Good timing. We were just underneath it. So how you been, Kava? What have you been up to lately? I just wrapped up my uh, fall volleyball schedule. I had four college matches on Friday and Saturday. Come on. All right, Tyler. Yeah, this is our re relocation franchise. We moved to Oakland to Utah. Renamed. Ooh. So it's year two, but it's our first year playing with the team. We just simmed the first year and focused on the draft. There you go. That's his fourth hit of the day. All over the place. Yeah, I'm, I've been... Uh, I quit playing college football back in August, so I've been strictly MLB and uh, XCOM 2. I play XCOM on my computer, on PC. Ah, tardy. Yeah, gameplay is garbage. Send him. Just the 17. There we go. Tell you what, we get to 20, I'll do a double shot right then. Haven't had tequila in fucking weeks. Yeah. 
yesterday here my son gave me some of this So reposada it's after I already finished off some Casamigos from my other son All right, Don Julio. I haven't had Don Julio for a while. It's about time to go get some. I don't have to buy myself tequila because between the two boys, I get two bottles for Father's Day and my birthday, so they pretty much keep me <laughs> keep me well stocked. I have a big ass bottle of Hornitos that I haven't even gotten halfway through. There we go. Sit your ass down. Oh uh, my! My one son, younger son, likes scotch, and the other one likes uh, bourbon. But my oldest one's twenty nine, and the other one's twenty six. So, you know, they've been drinking for a while well he's not going to get there is he nope doesn't matter yeah I know he's getting tired he's got one more bat Yeah, my my oldest one has his own uh, painting company. He paints and he does decks and he does driveways and does all that. The younger one works for Edward Jones. And my daughter just graduated last year from Mizzou, so she's working at the VA in Columbia. Yeah. And while I thank those guys for their service and I feel sorry for all the health stuff they have to go through, sometimes they're just fucking assholes, though. And they need to be straightened out. Butler, that's his fourth hit. So we had two guys with four hits. Ah, way out in front. Still in uni. Yeah, mine are all done. My daughter's the only one that graduated from college. The other two hated it. I liked college, just didn't like doing the classes. <laughs> At least they graduated, though. The classes were the least enjoyable part of the whole thing. That's a rocket right at them. Nice. All right, Willie. Need you to drive this run home. And it's not going to happen. Yeah, I would be proud too. And the hard part begins finding a job. Let's throw Mason. No. Let's go with Underwood. I'll use Miller for the ninth. It's not a safe situation, but I want to get him in. Get him some work. I'm just going to stand here and take three fastballs. Yeah, I, I didn't like school enough to go back for my master's. Uh, my wife had a double double degree in marketing and finance, but she never went back either. She didn't need to. 
Damn it. Oh, thought he was going to catch it. It goes off his glove. And he stops at third with a triple. So back to back triples. All right. Thought he was going to catch that. There we go. All right, let's see if we can get three runs here. Three runs equals a double shot. Kelnick, one for five. He's the one. He's the anchor holding us down. They play too shallow. Just trying to shoot at the right. Yeah, I was trying to golf that. Trying to manufacture stuff instead of waiting for it. All right, Tyler. Can we get a five hit game out of you? Nope. That's okay. All right. No double shot tonight. Fuck.
Son of a bitch. About damn time, Jesus. 35 fucking pitches for one inning. Four hits for Butler, four hits for Soderstrom. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten doubles. Three homers. All right, it's our last full game. We'll get some player lock in and call it a night. We're at 218 right now, so good spot. And Pete Crow's back. We win 9-1. to one. Rooker, Adamas, and McCann with home runs. And we win 6-1. to one. All right. Rooker with another home run. 12 strikeouts for Garcia. Soderstrom with two doubles. All right, we have 72 wins. We're only five and a half games behind the Rangers now. Okay. Half game behind the Yankees for the number one wild card. Look at the Dodgers, 86 wins. No one's even close. Let me save this. We'll go look at some stats, and then I'll head down to double A and do some more player lock down there. All right, stats. Rooker, 33-75, 289, so his average has dropped. Rosario's up to 262. Butler, 289. Adamas, 250. Kobe, 260. Pete Crow struggling. Kelnick struggling outside of power. Soderstrom's hitting 350. There we go. Should have called him up sooner. Garcia's got 13 wins. Everybody else is around 500. <clears throat> Still Rasmussen, Rasmussen and Sandlin. All right, let's look at league leaders. Henderson and Profar. Bobby Witt and Yelich. Ellie Sprelik. Judge with 38. Harper with 32. Otani with 90 ribs. Vladdy and Jordan over 90 as well. 36 steals, 32 for Ruiz. Three guys in American League with OPS over 1,000. Shohei with 16 wins, 17 for Lugo. 41 saves for Graterol, 39 for Urseg, Klasse, Ginkle. Sorry, way up. He's way down there. Zach Wheeler, Afflin. Three shutouts, four shutouts. Flaherty with 175 K. Strider 195. He was leading on the awards. Current MVP is Vladdy and Otani. Cy Young, Otani, and Lugo. Strom and Hoffman. Jaime Salas. Xavier Isaac or Neck and neck for American League rookie. Jackson Holiday looks like he's going to win it in the National League. All right. Let's go down to double A. All right. Fiori. 
down to 269. So he's been struggling. He was killing it earlier. It's at like 296, 295, something like that. Let's see if we can get him going. Facing the hooks. Get down, get down, get down. Guy kills lefties, so we're trying to help him improve against righties. Yeah, I'm not chasing that. Got lay off. Got to recognize. Hung that one a little bit. Missed it. Throw me a fastball. There we go. Let's get up on top of that. All right, Nikki, let's go. Nobody out. Park one, man. Popped it up. Not what we were looking for. Come on, Clark. Griswold, let's go. Hold up at second because he has no speed. All right, Colby Thomas, two for two. How about three for three? Nope. Who's up? Dominic Keegan, Tampa Bay Rays catcher. I don't think he got all that one. Got a lot, but not all of it. Hey, Kurtz with a solo homer in the ninth, and we get the win. All right. There we go. Brody Brecht. Eight strikeouts, four hits, and eight innings. You might see him next year. And we beat the Padres two to one. You Darvish. Soderstrom with a home run. Estes with a great game. All right. All right. Dylan Cease. We get the three to one win. That's four straight games allowing one run. Solo shot to Profar. Adamas with a home run, two RBI. Spence evens his record at nine and nine. Miller with 32 saves. Wow. All right, let's save. Still five and a half games out of the division. So, but right now, well, the Orioles and the Yankees are tied for first. The Yankees won five in a row. So whoever loses that battle is going to be a wild card. So looks like we're going to have to take on either the Yankees or the Orioles in the first round while the Astros get one of the other division winners. Okay. Yarborough out. One to two weeks. We'll put him on the DL. We lose that four to two. Profar, another home run. Soderstrom, another home run. <laughs> All right. Let's since let's see. We put him on the DL. Let's bring up you. Tyler Ferguson. And 
triple A. Put U and double A. All right, man, I should have played one of these games. I do not feel like playing another full game. So let's player lock on these. I thought I put somebody on the DL. Five and seven, yep. Who did they call up? Adele, Pete Crow. Can I look? Yeah, there, there. Naos and Zell, Rosario. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. How do I have 27 guys? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 6, 27. I guess the other guy wasn't in the majors. Ah, that's what. Cowgirls are losing. Good. Send you back to double A. And send you back to single A. All right. Let's try this again. Yeah, let's let's say stick with the hot guy. Actually, yeah. You know what? Let me fix this lineup. Here we go. Yeah, I have uh, Nico Collins, and I lost out on a 77-yard touchdown on the first play of the game. <laughs> That's okay. I had the uh, I had the game uh, my matchup this week locked before the game even started, so I'd rather Nico save that for uh, another week. But the only problem is, um. I only get two more games, and then he goes on a bye. So I need him to do well. <clears throat> All right. No score. Second inning. Luis Heal. The newly crowned American League Rookie of the Year in real life. Yeah, be patient. I think that light colored glove is illegal though. All right, two on, one out in the fourth. Got to get somebody home. No, oh, I saw it change up, saw it, couldn't wait for it. Mm. Almost jumped out of my seat to hit that pitch. All right. See it and hit it. There it is. That's down in the corner. It's going to score at least one. Maybe two. They're going to send them. Here's the play. Out. All right. Got the lead, though. All right, Kobe. Two outs here. Find a gap somewhere. All right. Did our job and got the lead. 
And now it's tie game. Ah, can't lay off the high heat. Uh-oh, that might be out of here. To the gap, to the track, to the wall. Off the wall. All right, two doubles for Soderstrom. Man, should have had him up all year. God damn. Well, we know our, who our first baseman is next year. We could always... Um, we could actually... Yeah. We got Nick Kurtz as well. That's our problem. We got two guys. Soderstrom's defense isn't good enough to catch, although I would be inclined to let him catch can't be any worse than Langoliers all right Kelnick we dropped you down you've been slumping and all right Shay find a gap it's twice in a row we hit the ball to the first base All right, here we are, bottom of nine. See if we can get a walk off on Clay Holmes. Ooh, it's like the wind is blowing in. Is it blowing in or out? It's like it's blown in. That's a rocket right to short, and we win. Kobe Mayo solo shot wins it. <laughs> Yes. Sandlin with the win. Beat those Yankees. Move ahead of them in the wild card. All right. We're going to play lock all these games. Oh, I simulated. Didn't mean to do that. Doesn't matter, we win two to one. Another walk off this time. Tyler Nevin drove in two runs in the bottom of the ninth to get the win. All right, it's not what I wanted to do, but I'll take it now against Garrett Cole. And. Uh, Go back to Rooker. So they have Freilich playing right field. It's Nazi Stanton. Come on, Joey. Keep us in this game. That's a gapper. Still didn't fix his shoes. We got to make him dark blue. All right, Willie. Big two out RBI out there. All right, one, one, two solo homers. Ah. Way inside, I jam myself. Soderstrom with a home run, Judge with a double. Tyler is on fire, my goodness. Yeah, he's definitely the thumbnail. No, oh, man. Way out in front. All right, ninth inning. Jameson Tyon with his 30th pitch in relief. And that's a ball game walk off winner. <laughs> All right. That deserves a shot.
Here we go. <clears throat> Only a lot of four hits. Rooker, Langliers, and Soderstrom with home runs. Soderstrom has six home runs and less than 50 at bats. Rasmussen gets a win in relief. So we swept the Yankees. They came to our park and we beat them all three times. Two of them on walk offs. Look at that. Two to one, two to one, three to two. Four and a half games back of the Rangers. And now we're the number one wild card. There we go. All right, let me save. <clears throat> Let's go down to double A, and I want to player, player lock with um, Nick Kurtz. <clears throat> All right, Nick, let's go. <sighs> Plus, I want to get a picture of him for later later use <clears throat> hmm, having trouble seeing that ball from that glare on the backdrop. Let's see if he can keep the ball down. There we go. Not going to be an RBI. Hit too hard. All right, Yanni. There we go. Gonna hold up. I wasn't sure if he was going or not. Don't want to run into an out. All right, Colby, let's go. Tack on runs are big. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 3 0 pitch. All four. All right, Nick Allen. What can you do? It's too shallow. I don't run fast enough. Need a two out hit. Is it Richie Black? Is that his name? Struggling out. All right. Well, we got two runs. It's a little bit better backdrop now. Ah, uh, don't swing at the garbage. This is a pucky. What a name. Drop. There we go. Two hits. Kind of inside out. Fisted that ball in the left field. All four. All right, Colby, you've not been clutch so far. Hey, Bat and I went through <clears throat> and made a list of uh, <clears throat> all of our minor leaguers that are not stud prospects that are making over six six hundred thousand or higher, and wrote down their age and overall. And I'm going to try to maybe 
trade them off in the off season for much younger guys making a whole lot less money and uh try and try and get some some more hitting prospects at least C potential guys to replace the older expensive guys can't get them in a draft those trade for them We have such <clears throat> dearth of pitching prospects um, that I don't mind spending a lot of draft picks on starting pitchers of this year and next. Oh, Jesus, way out in front. Thought I held up. Thought I waited just enough, but obviously I swung out over the top. Come on, man. What's this guy throw besides junk? Fastball, curveball, changeup. Okay, at least if you already got a base. And we're off to the eighth, sixth. Ah, oh, four. There we go. Two more ribs, two men on, two out. Ooh, try to golf that. It was way out front. Slider, sinker, fastball, changeup. And that's going to be an out. All right. Fiore with a two run homer. There we go. Eight to one is the score. Josh Spores. Closed out the World Series for the Rangers last year. Kind of shocked LeClerc didn't get a chance to. All right. Give me something I can drive, please. That's not it. Not much you can do with that high fastball. And that should be my last at bat. Yep. Nine to one. Fiori, two hits, two RBIs, home run. He's got 60, 18 home runs and 68 RBIs. Daryl Kennedy, nine, not bad. He's somebody I signed as a free agent the very first year, helped bolster our minor league staff. Mitch Spence against Fromber Valdez. We're at 244. So we can go in here and play a lock. Against a left-handed pitcher. No, really don't want you there. Computer fucked up my lineups. Lionel Senzo. You are Adele. All right, against the lefty. Let's go with Shea. Who do they have? Michael Bush playing first base. That's their only big change to the lineup. All right, for my Cardinals franchise, you'll remember Fromber. We had him for a couple of years. Gonna be a sack fly and an RBI. Get on the board early. There we go. No sense wasting time. Rosario, two RBI single makes it three nothing. 
Ooh, almost took out the first base coach. Eh. Terrible pitch to swing at. And they come back and make it four to three. There we go. Stay fair. Yes. He's going to dig. Is he going to get in there? Stay double. RBI makes it five to three. There we go. That's what we wanted. All right, Nick, you're two for two. It's too shallow. He's already in scoring position anyway. Glad he went with these uh, baby blues instead of gray on the road. All right, Larry. Jesus. Went from five to three to nine to five. Well, that's an L. No. It's nine to six. We are the tying run. All right. Don't swing at that. Yeah, tried to golf it. And yeah, it's a ball game. Oh, the doubles, Jesus. Spence shit the bed. All right, two more games of Sim and we're done. Call it night, right at three hours. That's good, good, good. Um, I'm going to tell you right now that I will be back streaming the month of September. Um, tomorrow night, let me double check my let me check the schedule here. You know what? We're going to do a daytime stream tomorrow. Right after lunch. So if you're at work, great. You can watch while you're at work. We're going to do a daytime stream tomorrow, and that'll get us through the regular season. And then uh, we can take the playoffs after that. So, all right. Let's sim that game, and we win 8-3. to three. Rosario, Soderstrom, and Kelnick with home runs. Freed pitched well. All right, the last game of the month, we went 11 to 9, so we won two out of three. Pete Crow Armstrong hit three home runs and drove in nine. What the fuck? 
Nine RBIs for Pete Crow. <laughs> Mason Miller blew the save again. Pete Crow Armstrong went four for five with three homers and nine RBI. You've got to be shitting me. Wow. Wow. He drove in nine of the 11 runs. That's ridiculous. Okay, what's that do to his stats? He's up to 52 RBIs now. And he went from 8 to 11. Wow. Okay, Pete. <laughs> he heard me thinking. I'm thinking, hey, Jazz Chisholm was a free agent at the end of the season. Maybe we can go sign him to play center field instead. Three homers and nine RBIs. My goodness. All right. So now we're only three games back of the Rangers. That is not what I expected. We've been 8-2, and two, and they've, we've gained three games in the standings on them. Easily the best wildcard team now by three and a half games after we swept the Yankees. And now the Twins are catching up to the Astros. National League. Dodgers already have 93 wins. We just finished August. <laughs> All right, the worst teams. Rockies have 89 losses. My goodness. All right, Rooker. Man, if he hits up, heats up, he might get 200 of hits. He, he's, yeah, we'll see. Butler, Adamas. Here's your home runs. Mayo, Kelnick. And Kelnick's only, you know, he's platooning. He's playing his righties, but not lefties. Adele, his average took a dive, but he's got nine home runs. Nevin, platoon. Sinzel doing great platoon. I'm going to let Nevin go and I'll bring back Sinzel. Soderstrom's hitting 397 with seven homers and 15 RBIs in 18 games. My goodness. My goodness. He's an A potential. He moved up to an A. Wow. Okay. Okay, these two guys have taken it on the chin lately. We we do have two spots in the rotation that these young guys can attack. His ERA is getting up closer to three. Just to chill out. Okay, well. Man, Iglesias would be nice to have as a bat off the bench. Holy shit. All right, let's check minor league stats. Down in double A, Logan Davidson. Look at that. His ratings don't say much, though. Fiore, down to 269, but he's got 19 homers and 71 RBIs with six deals. He must have been hurt 98 games. So how, how did he miss? I didn't remember him getting hurt. Unless the computer's just subbing him out. Let's go check that. Fiori, Fiori, no. Okay, don't understand. He must have been hurt. Didn't know it. Still leads the team with home runs. Has he gone up? Plus eight on his power against lefties like he needs help. Um, Kurtz, I know he was injured earlier. 295. Triple A. And Cole Wynn might be in our bullpen next year. Yarborough's hurt. Bench. Strikeout per inning. His hits per nine are too low. His pitching clutch is too low. He's not he's not gonna be one of those guys we call up because he's tearing it up. Hink, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome in. All right, that's one of our best players right there, Jacob Wilson. 
and he's regressing against lefties on contact. And Zach is just not doing it. Look at Kenan Smith and Jigba. He's killing it. He's getting 700,000. I don't really have room on my major league roster for him. And he doesn't play good defense, so we might try to capitalize on that and trade him for someone young. All right. Let's look at the injured list. Who's injured? Yarborough's out. Seven more days. Harrison Bader's out for the year. Griffin Conine's out for the year. Mauricio's out for the year. Ryan Jackson's out for the year. Jose Siri's out for the year. Beto's out. Spencer Turnbull and Alc Bohm are both out. Seiya Suzuki is out for the year. Wow. De La Cruz is out. He might be out for the rest of the regular season. Contreras, a few days. Sawinski's out one to two months. Jordan Walker, three to four weeks. Graceffo out one to two. Man, big injuries. Jan Gomes is out for the year. Ethan Salas is out. Brian Bellows out for the year. Wow. A lot of big injuries. Urania is out for the year. We traded him Jordan Diaz, and he's still hurt. Lauren Ox out. Buxton. Walker Jenkins is out for the year. Damn. <laughs> Jacob Melton, one of their top prospects, is out for the year. Mike Trout is out three, four weeks. He got traded to the Rangers, by the way. No, no, that was not him. Wow. Okay, well, we won't be facing Trout because um, we have the Angels for four on the road to start the next month. Here's the Rangers. So you know when we stream tomorrow, we're definitely playing a full game against the Rangers. And we'll probably play a game against Seattle. And maybe we go to L.A. We'll just play three games. Zip through, get the season over with. Three games back. Heck, we could be playing for the division by the end of the month. All right, we're going to save this. And I'll have to figure out my September call-ups. But, yep, that's going to be it. All right, guys. Thank you for hanging out with me all night. Appreciate it. We will be back tomorrow after lunch, right after, right after lunch, like uh, 1230-ish Central. And we will finish up this first regular season in Utah. Looks like we're going to make the playoffs. I don't know if we have the pitching to get beyond the wild card, but luckily the wild card is not very long round at all. Um, and then who could we play in the second round? Orioles, Royals, Rangers. Ooh, pardon for the on. All right. Well, who are we going to go raid? We can raid out of here. Let me send you to KD Smoke, who's playing EA Sports College Football. You guys have a good time over there. I'll be back during the middle of the day tomorrow, we'll finish off this season, and we'll get to the playoffs possibly later in a week. Appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. And uh, you guys have a good rest of the evening. And we'll catch you uh, in about 13, 14 hours.